Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of the Pikmin 100% playthrough. Now, in the last episode, last two episodes actually, we decided to go to the submerged castle. And it was a good idea and a bad idea, I'll just say that. But it was fun, and the videos were fun, and you guys seemed to like them, so that was very good. And... Yeah, so after the submerged castle, what I did off camera is I decided to just go around killing some things and then bringing them back for blues. So now I have more blues again, which is good because we lost a lot of Pikmin, and I mean a lot. We lost 91 in total down there, so, you know, it's a good thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure what we could do today. Maybe we could go to, um, Awakening Wood? Sure. Also, um, I'm recording this a day after, not a day after, a few hours, well, about half a day after the, um, here you go, look, I got 92 blues, um, a, a day after the bloopers video that I just put out. And I am so, so sorry. <laughs> because, oh, it was terrible. Because, yep, it came out with a massive watermark on it. The biggest watermark I've ever seen. And it kind of ruined it. So that's unfortunate. But I've uh, one of my friends in the comments and has also told me he's recommended um this editing software, I'd, I'd, there's no watermarks and it's good and stuff, you just have to like learn it for a bit so I could experiment with that and hopefully I could actually do some good edited videos because I feel like the video is good, it's just the fat watermark that just, you know, takes up the entire screen that kind of ruined it anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video because I haven't done anything like that so yeah, that was pretty cool I guess also now we've got the plucker phone from the water wraith thank god we can um do some fancy plucking out of the ground oh boy I'm happy to be out of submerged castle because that was hell all right I don't know why I'm taking this many blues I don't need them Oh well, now we have a hundred flowered blues, which is good. You know, from when we exited the submerged castle, we had... <laughs> we had 17, I think, or something like that. Alright, let's go to Bolblack's Kingdom. So if we get all these yellows to break down the gate, and then on a mark and do something else. Come on. I should have saved some nectar for these guys because they are slow. Oh wait, we already broke the gate. Never mind. Oh no, that's a waste of time. Okay. All right. I'll take twenty yellows. No. 25 reds, I guess. 30 actually. And we need to. I know there's. On the final sub level, there's some water, so we'll take about 15 blues and hopefully they can survive. If they don't, then that's a problem. Alright, we want to take like 25 purples because there's a lot of dangerous boys in here. I was going to say something else, but I forgot, but anyway, um, Skeef's new video should be coming relatively soon, so that's cool, and I'll be featured, so will Mr. Fish Fish, very good people, uh, yeah, subscribe to Skeef, because that would be awesome, for exclusive content that you cannot get here, um, yeah. Anyway, here we go, Bobblex Kingdom. Okay, 
I wonder what terrible things can unfold in this cave. Let's find out. I genuinely don't know what could happen. Well, I do know what could happen, but I just hope it doesn't. Anyway, that's whatever those were dealt with. Dwarf, naughty people. Um, okay. Already there is a problem. So, in typical Pikmin fashion, we just get a single type of Pikmin and just throw them on his head. And he's dead. I mean, we could have actually just ignored him, but I don't want to risk it because they can wake up like from a further distance when Pikmin and are more near him than actually touching him, unlike other ones. Alright, we need our other purples back. Alright, and he, this one, he's got a treasure, so you know, time to die. Cool. Okay. Anyway, a lot of people say they, um, they really like the music in this area, and... I think it's pretty good. I've never actually really listened to this song much. I, I don't, I feel like it's good, but I don't know, I just don't listen to it. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. So you see guys, I'm a bit scarred by the water wraith, if you're wondering why I'm so like strange. Alright, let's carry all this back. I keep forgetting what I was going to say. Oh yeah, um, in the description of the video, I have made a new Discord server, so... Check that out. I would very much appreciate it if you joined, because we have quite a few members, but only one person so far has joined, actually from my YouTube channel. Like, everyone else is just friends I've invited, so... If you guys could um, join that if you wanted to, we can. There's channels for Pikmin, just general chats. There's voice channels, there's roles, we got everything. And there's also uh, Pikmin Hacking, uh, that's another channel, and Pikmin Texturing, which I have been doing quite a lot of. I've been doing some textures, so if you guys would like to have sneak peeks of my awesome textures, then you could um, you could go there and see. Because it's a pretty cool place. Um, there's really nice people there, and I'm sure you guys will love it if you do join. All right, this f sub level seems to be all about fire hazards, which concerns me. Why well, it doesn't actually? Because you can just get rid of them and then come with everything else, but whatever. Here we go, okay. The thing about Wii that I love is that on GameCube you can only whistle like certain amounts in front of you, but on on Wii, like look at this, I can just whistle them from all the way over here. It makes like things very easier, like when Pikmin are suffering or something and they're all like they're all jumping around and going everywhere out of your reach. They don't go out of your reach because you can reach anywhere. So it's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm sorry for my uh, absence in videos recently. I I recently went camping for meant to be four days, but then there was a disaster, and it was only for one day because the weather was so bad. Uh, so, that was with my dad, and I don't live with my dad, so instead of having four days camping, we decided to spend four days with him, so we went out and did things, and obviously I didn't have time to do any uploads or anything, so yeah. <coughs> That's why there hasn't been uh, a video in like five days, <laughs> but there is now because my bloopers video is out. If you haven't checked it out already, check it out now. I think it's quite f kind of funny. I mean, the funniest part about it is the massive watermark on it, which really irritated me. Anyway, if you watched that, 
I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I want to make I want to make videos like that, but not that you know videos that don't have a massive watermark. So that's something I need to do. Um, which I think I'm going to use a software called Shotcut because that's what my friend, one of my friends uses, Fish, and also he recommended it to me. So I was like, hmm, good idea. I'll make sure to try it out. Go away. Anyway, this cave is quite quite a relaxing place to be after the submerged castle, even though this is apparently a really hard cave, but I don't find it too hard. And I'm, I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm really good at the game or anything, because you saw what I did in the submerged castle. I am not a good Pikmin player. I've played this game for years and years, and yet I still lose <laughs> all those Pikmin to a volatile Dweevil. I, I cannot believe that happened. I got baited by a Glint Beetle, and it was disgusting, and I am ashamed of myself. But yeah. Alright, I need to talk more about the game because I'm just talking about everything else. <laughs> um, okay, what treasures are here? Buried treasure? Yep, that's why you gotta bring white Pikmin. The best Pikmin type, of course. Alright, dig that up. Oh, it's the Olimanite shell. It's the shell that Olimar names it after himself. I actually know the ship names it, I guess, but... Whatever. Oh, even if you don't bring whites, there's a candy pot bud down here anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind. There you go, the Olimanite shell. Cool. Okay. Alright, well, we can't just leave this candy pot bug, can we? I actually don't know if red, um, if blues are necessary for the treasure, it just makes it easier. So, I'm going to sacrifice them. Not sacrifice, they just change colour. Okay. That's everything for this sub-level, I think. Think. Oh, an egg. Okay, we need that. Also, if you're wondering why I always use purples to destroy eggs, it's because occasionally, um, when you break an egg, the little, like, spider weird parasite things come out. And if a purple hits the egg and explodes it, they all instantly die and fly out, and you get loads of nectar. Because normally they run around and they scale your Pikmin, and all your Pikmin like go and stuff. But yeah, that um, prevents it because they just all instantly die. <laughs> Alright, now I have bad memories of the sub level. For reasons, because I'm pretty sure there's a Wally Wog that falls from the sky. And he has a treasure, see so you know, there's no avoiding him if you want 100%. And what are we doing? We are 100% in the game, so... The music is good though. Honey Wisp. Alright, let's make sure all these guys are flowered because... I do not like flowered Pikmin. Alright, at least make the purples of flowers. Because purple flower what am I talking about alright I give up alright there's a wally bog right, right in front of me isn't there there he is oh it's easy if you just bring um, 
purples, like everything in the game. Just bring purples and it'll all be fine. Oh, Glip Beetle. Boom. Crystal. That's the King Crystal, I think. Alright, maybe we could get rid of some... Alright, we'll get rid of five reds for that one, and then we'll use yellows on the other one, just in case we do need, um, just in case we do need blues. Epic coin. I have a custom texture for this treasure, and maybe I'll put it over in my Discord server, if you would like to see that, because... Oh, I'm sure you guys would love the texture I gave that. Alright, well, we now have, like... 35 purples, I think. <laughs> wow. Shiny polygons. Alright, let's see. We have 35 purples. Wow. Alright, let's just get out of here. Oh no, the electric run! Oh, they're all immune to it, apparently. Because cutscene, that's why. Okay. And I think this is where I'm going to end the episode for now. So we got to sub-level 5 of Bold Black's Kingdom. That's pretty good. Um, we'll finish the rest of it in the next episode, which I'll probably record straight after this one. So, yes. Thank you all for watching. Um, check the description. There'll be something. My Discord server, there'll be probably me saying about something that I did wrong in this video, because that's what happens every single video. So, yeah. Okay, thanks. F okay, thank you all for watching, and... Uh, yeah. I'll see you in episode 12, or unless I do a, vi a video in between. I don't know. See you in the next video, okay? <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.